So today I wanted to talk a little bit about how do you really have hope? You know, some mornings, do you ever just wake up like I do and feel hopeless? I mean, it can come over you just like a cloud, can it? There have been many, many times in my life where I have looked around and the circumstances made me feel totally, utterly hopeless. I was reading a verse this morning in Romans where it talks about hope that is based on what's seen is not hope at all. But if we hope for what we don't have, then we wait for it patiently. Boy, hope is really about a choice. It's about a choice to wait, a choice to be patient, a choice to really believe that what I see now is not the end of the story. We're going through a really tough time in our family. Many of you have been following our journey about our son Jordan who's fighting cancer and many days we wake up and that cloud is just hanging there. But all of us together are fighting and believing that Jordan's going to come through, that he's going to conquer. He did it before, he's going to do it this time. And we're choosing to be a family of hope. We don't necessarily see signs every single day, but we choose every single day to rejoice, to be glad that he's alive, that he's well now, that he's going to be even more well. And all of us, we just text each other, we find verses, we find songs, and we keep each other encouraged. It's what I did for years when I was single, waiting for love and marriage. It's what I do in other areas of my life. There's some dreams right now that I'm really waiting for them to happen. One dream in particular I've been waiting for for goodness, almost 30 years. It's something that was in my heart when I was in college and it hasn't happened yet, but I believe it will. And I'm choosing to be a woman of hope related to that dream. Hope is a choice, not a feeling. I realize that more often than not, it's a choice. We choose to be people of hope. And I've just decided I'm gonna go out hoping, go out dreaming. I'm not gonna give up. In the face of hopelessness, there's a bigger story being written. And I may not see the end of the story yet, but I can choose to prevail and to be a woman of hope, and so can you. So I don't know if that res relates or resonates, but I hear from a lot of people and we meet a lot of people. It seems like there are many, many junctures in life that are hopeless. But never do we need to be hopeless when we serve a God who is faithful and we can cling to our friends and family and our faith that says that what I'm hoping for is not yet over and I'm going to believe. I'm just going to simply choose to believe. So I just thought that might encourage you today. I'm encouraging myself. I'm preaching to myself today as I share with you what is on my heart. But I'm hoping for you and hope will not disappoint if we wait for it.